Today we're going to look at the boyer moore horsepool algorithm for string matching. String matching algorithms take in a string and a pattern and then search through the string to return the location of the pattern in the string. So how do we go about doing this? Well, the naive method of string matching is simple. We compare the first character of the pattern with each character of the input string. When a match is found, we compare the second character and continue this process if they match. If not, we resume matching with the first character. Let's look at an example. We start by comparing the letter A to each character until we find a match. Then we compare the letter N and T. The T does not match, so we resume looking for the letter A until we find it. We find an N and a T and so we know we've found the string. The problem with this algorithm is its speed. In this case, the algorithm did not take too long, a total of 15 comparisons, but let's look at the worst case. We get our worst case performance when our input string is simply the letter X repeated, and our pattern is the letter X repeated followed by a single letter Y. Let's take a look at why this gives slow performance. We start by comparing each of the characters until we have a mismatch at the letter Y. So we have to shift the pattern along by one. Then we start from the beginning again, comparing each character until we get to the letter Y, and so on. This means we compare each character in the pattern with each character in the string. As we have n characters in the pattern and n characters in the string, the order of the algorithm is O, M, N. This is where the boyer moore horsepool algorithm comes in. The boyer moore horsepool algorithm is split into two parts. First part is building a rightmost table from the input string, and the second part is matching the string using the rightmost table. The rightmost table stores the rightmost position of each character in the pattern. With our original pattern, the values in the rightmost table are simply their location in the string. The letter A is the first character, the letter N is the second character, and the letter T is the third character. The second part of the boyer moore horsepool method is matching the string. We start by aligning the pattern and the string, as before, but instead of comparing the first character, we start by comparing the last character of the pattern with the corresponding character in the string. In this case, T and E do not match, so we look to see if E is in the rightmost table. E is not in the rightmost table, so we shift the string past it entirely. We can now resume matching from the end of the string. We compare T and A, and we have a mismatch, but this time A is in the rightmost table, so we can align the pattern and the string. We compare T to a space, and again we have no match, so we can shift the pattern along. We compare the T to the A, and A is in the rightmost table, so we align the pattern and the string, and compare T, then N, then A, meaning we found the pattern. So, how fast is this algorithm? Well, we now have two parts to compare. The first is building the table, which takes three steps, and the second is matching the pattern, which is a total of seven comparisons. It's clear that this is better than the naive method by eight comparisons, but how much better on worst case performance? For the boyer moore horsepool method, uh, the worst case performance comes when you have a string of repeated x's and a string with a y followed by repeated x's. This means we build the following rightmost table and perform the following comparisons. We start at the end of the string, compare the x's backwards until we reach the first y. This is m comparisons. x is in the table, but we can't shift the pattern backwards, so we shift it forwards. We again do another four comparisons, compare the y to the x, have another mismatch. x is in the rightmost table, so we align the string and pattern. Again, compare backwards, have a mismatch, find we can't shift backwards, shift forwards, and start again. Another mismatch, and we would again shift backwards and so on. As you can see, this is m comparisons for each of the n characters. We add in the m steps it takes to build the rightmost table, and we have an algorithm that is the order mn. This looks like it's no faster than the naive algorithm, which is true, 
but in practice, the boyer moore horsepool algorithm is much faster than the naive method. It is most effective with large alphabets and when there is little repetition in the pattern, as both of these cases will increase the chances of being able to skip large chunks of text. In the best case, we have a string consisting entirely of the letter Y and a pattern consisting entirely of the letter X. We compare the X and Y at the end of the string and, because we found a mismatch, can jump past the entire length of the string for every comparison. As you can see, we skip n characters for each comparison, and as there are n letters in total, the order of the algorithm in the best case is O m over n. Compared to the naive method, this best case performance is a significant improvement. The naive algorithm will compare the letter x to the letter y, shift forwards by 1, compare the letter x to the letter y, shift forwards by 1, and so on. This means it compares each letter to the first letter of the pattern, which is the order n. To conclude, the boyer moore horsepool method is a usually very fast algorithm, which has an average case of on versus the naive algorithm's best case of ln. It's easy to implement, particularly compared to more complex algorithms such as Knuth Morris Pratt. It has a small memory overhead and can be improved by the good suffix rule, which comes from the boyer moore algorithm.